Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Boxer Gaming. Today, we're going to do something quite exciting. We're going to start a rocket. Yeah. Uh, so I've got all the ingredients that we need. Um, spent quite a bit making them. Uh, but it's kind of it's kind of cheap. It's just very annoying stuff to make. So um, what we're going to do first, though, is make a floor. Uh, I guess I could use the this thing for it. I'm hearing some weird noises. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's... Nope, that was not it. G. Extension mode. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Nope, not done yet. Okay, so... Uh, to make the rocket, first of all, we're going to start with the base, and that's going to be the part that actually makes the rocket move. Um, and I actually didn't think it was possible, but we, we, we can do it. Definitely, we can do it. Um, it's going to be a it's going to be a slow rocket. <laughs> it's not going to be one of those things that just fly off. Um, no, it's going to be slow, but that's that's fine. You know, we don't need we don't need fast. Who needs a fast rocket? You know, all, all a rocket needs to do is get to its destination, which in this case is the top of the world, and then blow up, I guess? Hmm, we might have to look at that as well. Maybe make a remote detonation system. Well, that actually sounds good as well. Yeah, we might do that. Radio. so this episode might be a bit longer. It might not be. I just don't know yet, um, depending on how much I mess up, really. So what did I make? I've got four toggle latches. These are going to be changed later on, but these will just start the frame motors um, for now. That's just easier to test. Now, we're going to make a rocket that can go up and down. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that'll just make it easy with testing and stuff. Because um, else, if you have to, if you can only move it up, and you're testing it, and you move it up, and then something goes wrong, you have to remake the whole bloody thing because you can't move it down. Uh, so that's why we're going to have a two-way rocket. You know, why not? Why not? I think... Rockets have been the same for such a long time. I think it's time to change them around a bit. So apart from that, we're gonna. I made a bunch of BT batteries and I charged them. Uh, I made some battery box. Well, I didn't make them. I had them still. Um, I still got my EU reader here for some reason. Um, I did a tutorial, so I'm in cheat mode again. Uh, what else? I made covers and well, I still had these panels. So we need covers and panels. If you want to remake this, you need both. And I'll explain you why later on. So let's let's get started first. Um, now I've only done this once before, so it might it might not be perfect. Now, first of all, I think we need to one, two, three, four, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's oh, that's ten. I don't know how big this hole is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's no middle, middle. Okay, well that's that's fine actually. We'll we'll do it right. Eh, we'll have to do it a bit off center, but I guess it doesn't really matter because we can build the rocket around it uh, and make that centered instead. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, we'll do it right. How about here? Just here. Yeah, let's here. Uh, so all we need to do, we're going to do this using a caterpillar design, um, but in a vertical one, which is a bit more pain than a horizontal one. Those are much easier. Um, so the way I usually start off is by making some frames free high like that, and then also copy it over to the other side, do the exact same thing. There we go. Now, um, the major understanding, I guess, that you need to have is that the way Caterpillar works is first going to move that side up, then it's going to move this side up, and then again it's going to move that side up, and then it's going to move that side up again. Um, so we want these two uh, parts to be completely separate from each other. They cannot be touching. Well, they can, only with covers in between. So the way we're going to do that is... Oh, let's see. We can actually make it like that already because we're going to have a two-way system. Uh, although I can do that later as well, why not? We'll do it later. This will make it easier to, to sort of see what I'm doing. So we don't need the batteries for now. Um, we can do that. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to put c covers here on these two and on this one. Now the way why this is going to work is because we're going to have a frame motor here. Oh, then I've screwed over. Whoopsie. Let's get a screwed over. Oh, there has to be a better way to get up there. <laughs> I must have a screwdriver somewhere. Else I'll make one that's easy. I think it's iron and... Iron and a stick, probably. Uh, screwdriver... I'm not really looking, I'm just see, browsing, see if I see it. If I don't see it, I'll just make one. Oh, yeah, there it was. Cool. That was a brand new one, actually. Uh, now, I also saw that I made two little frame motors. I actually need four. Uh, which is not good. Do I have any extras? I've got support frames. Yikes. It's not good. It's not good. More support frames. Alright. Well, there might be some there, maybe. Why does that, why does that door keep closing? I definitely don't tell it to close. But it somehow it does anyways. Uh... No, I don't have any other frame motors. Okay, cool. We'll do it. We'll do it with two for now. Uh, so we'll just make it one way for now. Radio, wing, dish. There we go. Uh, right. So screwdriver. Going to be using that a lot. So we want to make sure that it's pointing that way. Now, why is that? Um, because this frame motor will be stuck to this side of the of the frames support frames here we have that uh, you can see it if you hover it close to it you see that little double wood line that means there's a cover there a glass cover so this frame motor will not stick to this side and then on the other side we're going to do it we're going to stick it to that side and it's not going to stick to this side because there's a cover here as you can see by the little wood line in the middle here yeah okay so now we can already see this sort of, um, we can see this starting to work maybe. So let's make it up, you know, let's make this go upwards. <clears throat> um, and then a battery box, and I'll, I'm gonna have to remove this a couple of times to place more covers, but uh, for now we'll place it there. So that is the simple, simple setup that it's gonna be. And it's gonna be the exact same thing on this side. We're gonna add another layer and that will be for downwards. Now, how is this going to work? Um, I have to see as well. This battery box and this frame motor are stuck to this side of the support frames. Yeah? This frame motor is stuck to these three support frames. So as soon as we turn this frame motor on, you can see the arrow, it's going to move these three up and I'll move the battery box and the um, frame motor up as well. Now at that point, the topmost frame motor is going to be facing this thing. And I'll just do that as well. Like that. So it'll be facing this support frame. And then we power this support frame, uh, this frame motor. So that this goes up, these four. And I think the best way to do it is to show you. That will make it a lot easier to understand what's happening. Um, now a vertical, a um, horizontal one, you can connect the redstone a lot easier. Um, let me give this some power, by the way, before we go on. Okay, that should be enough for a few movements, but let's do one more battery. Okay, okay we have to recharge these as well. Right, so these both have power now. Um, so on a horizontal, you can give these redstone power a lot easier, but the vertical ones, I prefer to do it like this. And then you give these two covers as well because you don't want them sticking to this frame motor at all at any point. Now, then you put a panel there. And why use a panel instead of a cover? Now, a cover, say this cover here. If anything was in front of it, like this block, for example, a cover means that these two will not stick together. However, if you use a panel, it'll mean that they will stick together. So if this moves, that moves as well, just because it's a panel and not a cover. Uh, that's just something to consider. So that's why I need both. So now it's pretty much 
done the basic. We can now say a toggle at, or I can just put a redstone torch there, same thing. And we will see that this side, the right side, will move up. And now we can see that this thing is connected to the left side. And that will only move this frame order up. Now, and then we're gonna have something really cool. You can see that toggle latch, this redstone torch is still on. So it means that it's giving power this way to this empty hole here. But as soon as this frame motor gets in into this hole, when it moves up, it'll have power straight away. So it'll start moving again. So that's way, that way you're gonna have a constantly moving um, machine, which is pretty cool. Right, so we've determined that. Now all we need to do is connect the top one up. Now I'm just gonna turn that off. I'll make it easier. Now we have to turn the top one on and you can see that this one is connected to the right side. We want this one to be connected to the left side. So to give that power, and that's what I was talking about, I need to blast away this thing. I'm trying not to break the rest because I need to put a cover there as well. You can put this beforehand, but I always seem to forget. So it's sort of been a thing for me. Right. Uh, so we have to give it power again, of course. There you go. That should be enough. And this thing exactly the same. So we put a panel there and a toggle latch there. Now the toggle latch is going to turn on. So I'm going to put it like that so that it's off by default. Now. Actually, no, let's just, uh, let's just put it like that. And we can see that, that when, I, when I place it, the left side will move up like that. Now, uh, you saw that this broke, uh, that's fine. That is because I didn't put a cover on the bottom here. So watch this, when I place the toggle latch here, this whole frame starts moving up and it will make it touch the top here. And because there's no cover, it'll try to move that as well. Turn that off. See, now these two are sort of connected, like there's air between them, but they're connected. So when I move that, it'll try to move this, uh, this toggle latch as well, which we don't want. So cover there, all fixed. So now if we just turn it on, this one as well, it'll, it'll give power to that. Look at that. There we go. There we have our basic rocket. I mean, it's, it's not fast, but it's, it's a pretty much the fastest you can make anything go in, in, in tech it. Um, yeah, so that'll be a rocket. It'll be, it'll be going pretty, uh, pretty solidly, you know, and that will be going well, pretty much till I say stop or until it runs out of power, which is very slow at the moment. Once the whole rocket is made, and don't get me wrong, the rocket is going to be from the bottom floor to the top. So it's going to be a big, massive rocket. So it's going to need a lot of power. Um, so I'm going to have to f come up with a fix for that as well. Now, as you can see here as well, you can see the left side and the right side are completely separate entities. They are not connected in any way. Yeah, and that's sort of how it works. Now, if I turn one of them off, and I'll just turn that off first. Uh, yeah, I can turn that off. Actually, I'd rather turn this on again, like that. That seems to be the most natural to me in the starting position with the free frame, uh, with the frame order, battery frame order. Now, to extend this, uh, and I can't do it because I don't have the frame motors, but um, the way it's going to be is we're going to put another frame motor here, another battery box here. And I can already put the battery box there. Voila. Um, actually, let's break it. We're just going to extend this. And the important thing to keep in mind is that, see that this side is now longer, the left side. On the other side, it has like an, uh, an uh, a way coming out. On this way, it should be the other way around, I think. Uh, maybe not. Come on, break. Thank you. Ah, yeah, it will be. Just like that. So they'll be sort of exactly the opposite. So you see this one is longer than that one. 
So it'll be like this. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All good. So all these have glass covers except for this one because there's going to be a frame order attached to this. And I'll be there. Now, I just had a safety. I'm just going to put one there as well. Just to make sure I don't mess up. Because <laughs> that happens, you know. It happens. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Um, that's how you make a simple one-dimensional um, caterpillar. So it just goes up. Um, there is other designs as well, but I find this one to be very simple to uh, to use. Uh, and what I did was just I went into creative, and then I just had a play around with it. And it took me quite a while actually to um, figure out how it worked exactly. Um, as long as you keep in mind, and that helped me a lot. Keep in mind that. You're going to have two sides, left and right, always, you know, or top and bottom if you want to have it horizontal. Um, these two should not be connected in any way. So, like the right side, for example, is all these frame, the support frames and the frame motor. That's the only thing connected to the right side. Um, everything else has a cover between it. So between the battery box and the support frame is a cover. Here between them is a cover. And of course, from this frame motor to this support frame is a cover. So this whole right side is independent and the whole left side is the exact same. So that's the way you should always look at it. If it's not working, think to yourself, okay, let's have a look at every single support frame and say, okay, left, right, and C. So again, this is same, left, right. This right side should be connected to Let's see, this battery box and that support frame. That's it. And these support frames here. So you just go around and you start looking at, okay, what is it all connecting to? What is it not connecting to? And then it's it's sort of easy to figure out. It took me about half an hour. Um, so I think this is the fastest Caterpillar you can make. Uh, just because the toggle latches, as soon as one action completes, the next one starts instantly. So it's faster than timers or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, this this will, 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 don't fall down. This will work pretty well, I reckon. So we'll just, um, we'll just go in here, for example. And we have a big button here somewhere saying launch control. And then slowly, I mean, this looks ridiculous, but imagine it's a massive, massive 50 block or 60 block high rocket coming out of here. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Now, I might, and that, that's just a might, I might make a replica of this with just a small one like this instead of the rocket and time how long it takes from for this thing to go from bottom till about here. And then I might have it drop some TNT once in a while. Um, but that, that's just an idea. I don't know if that's possible or not. Well, it's possible probably, but <laughs> if I can do it as well. Because um, I'm, not, I'm not a master with power frames. Now, did it run out of power? Yep. Okay. So what I want to try is does this thing make it? Like what happens when it goes to the ceiling? Okay. Now if it runs out of power, you have to reset it manually. There you go. So how high can we go? Well, storms up here. Okay, well, pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. I can't see anything anymore. So if the rocket reaches this high, you wouldn't be able to see it from the ground anymore, which is good. So we we could even have a seat on here as well. Bye. You see that I'm slowly going up. Y one ten. 111, 112, 113. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it's going, you know, it's going. So that is the uh, the basics. Um, what I'll do now is I'll destroy it all. Actually, I might as well do that with you guys or not. And pick up the pieces downstairs. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll remake this so that it looks exactly the same now as it, uh, as it does now. And then I'll 
next time we're gonna make the two-way system as well so we can go up and down so you can learn how to do that as well uh, and then all we have to do well I say all but then what we have to do is build a rocket around it so make it look pretty um, and then just launch it I guess you know that'll be pretty cool I think so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time